Welcome back. Welcome back. Do you want to introduce this? Lovely we ladies are here glad today? to have return visitors with us from the Boone County Library, and we have Ginger Schonenberger and Tina Farmer here, and always something going on at the library. But I think you have some specific things to talk about we do. this time. And we do. Why don't you just take it away? Okay, we will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, every time I look at you, I think of you in that cowboy outfit you put on our show. I know. I'm sorry. What's, what's this? No, it's a good thing. But what, what so I of, remember what kind of, what kind I of had outfit? to show It was a little cowgirl remember outfit. Remember, I was a cowgirl. She was. It was too yeah. cute. But anyway, okay, I digress. <laughs> so, go ahead, Ginger. Well, you know, we do get into costume when we have go to the library. Got to make you it know, fun. It, it has to be fun. It's theme-oriented. It so. is. It is theme-oriented. Yeah. So... Um, it's good for the kids. You bet. That's why they come. We're not it's an this, excuse. That's right. We're not that <laughs> stuffy old no. mausoleum. That well, you have. know what you used to, the, the whole perception of the library was the old mean librarian and all that. And, and, that it, and she had her hair in a bun. How it, and yeah. she would yes. take something and whack you. Or no, yeah. that's old school. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> it's Shh. not like that. Quiet. It's not like that. No, you want me to be not. quiet? No, I'm just saying that's what she would do. Shh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, well, I'll tell you what, we are actually going to be celebrating libraries in April, and it's called National Library Week, and every year there's a theme. And this theme for this year is Lives Change at Your Library. True and they statement. do. They do. If you start reading to your children when they're young, they're going to grow mm -hmm. up with the love of reading, and it's also going to improve their school. It's mm -hmm. going to improve their comprehension and all, all kinds of wonderful things. So that is going to be the week of the 13th. It's going to run the 13th through the 19th of April. Of April. Okay. And we are going to have different activities going on through that week. Uh, one of the activities is we normally have our story time, which is Tuesday and Wednesday. That's going to remain the same. They're going to have a craft related to National Library Week and how oh, their okay. lives change yeah. for that. Okay. And also we have our uh, teen program, which is also Tuesdays at 3.30, 3.45, whenever the kids get out of school. And they're also going to do a, a project relating to that. And we are going to be giving away popcorn. We're going to be giving away bookmarks and pencils and, um, oh gosh, all kinds of things. Let's see. Tina is going to have what she'll talk to you in a minute. She's going okay. to have a genealogy class on that. And we're giving away free balloons. And also during that time, we're going to have a table set up where you can come in and you can sign up for a library card, sign up to join the Friends of the Library, and uh, get information. Put your name in for a drawing. We're going to give away prizes for people that come in and and sign up to get mm -hmm. a library card. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can't beat that. One of our biggest things that's happening that week is we're gonna have our friends of the library, they're gonna be having their spring book sale. Uh -huh. And they have okay. been collecting inventory for months. So we're going to have a lot of inventory, a lot of books to choose from. Are you have these twice a year? Uh, yes, yeah. we do. Actually, we have two, but we also have a children's book sale okay. in, in June. How do you, okay. uh, I'm sure that people donate books. Do you ever run low on books or, or need, to, need to get people to? Usually uh, not. Usually yeah. our public is really, really good about bringing and supplying mm -hmm. the books mm -hmm. for us. And that we do if need. you've never been, they categorize the books, so it's yes. not just like a free-for-all. You can go to a section and, and that's you know, right. there's a specific mm. section you want to look at. So they're not that's in a big right. bin you have to dig through. No. <laughs> they are amazing. <laughs> Everything is set up. Like Ann said, you can mm -hmm. see all the titles. Mm -hmm. You can see the condition. Now, do yeah. you give a, a, if you're a friend of the library, do you get an, a, a, like a, a private uh, Thank showing Thank you for or asking looking that. Or, yeah. I really appreciate that. Actually, th yeah. <laughs> Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, if you're a member of the Friends of the Library, you actually get in first before first anybody dibs. else on Thursday. Yeah. Yes. So that's really always great because it's 9 o'clock in the morning, and that's for our members of the Friends of the Library. Yeah. And so, the, yes. the Friends of the Library are instrumental in setting up the books and all. And I mean, they do a lot of work, obviously, they do. with the library. They're Friends of the Library. That's right. So. They actually start, well, they've been doing it already for this mm. past month. They've mm -hmm. already started getting ready for it. And what they're doing on Wednesday morning before we even open, they're already setting up. And they work it that entire Wednesday before the book sale. And then they're working all the way through, um, all the way through Saturday. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's lot. A good, it's mm. a good thing. It's a really good thing. It mm. really is. And so, yes, so like I said, please come in and join the organization, and, and it's, it's really wonderful. Cool. And it doesn't cost you anything. And to get it a library doesn't, card. no, it doesn't cost for a library card. 
and the membership for the Friends of the Library, I think it's just $5. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not that much. How, what's your hours? Because sometimes I go by there and there's, uh, there's other activity going okay. on after hours, right? Or, I mean, well, you, have, you have, like, uh, I think. Special uh, programs, I guess. Do you have, a, do you have a, a, a frog thing in there tonight? From the Boone County actually, Friends of the Buffalo Actually, River. that was last month. Oh, la last month. Yes, okay. and we usually have our... our um, this is about fossils and rocks now, Yes, right? yeah, yesterday it. it was about fossils and okay. rocks. So once a month, they do come and they do have programs. Yeah. And it's the Tuesday, what was the Tuesday yesterday? Was it the 25th? second, 25th, third? Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, the third, third Tuesday, Tuesday, wasn't Tuesday, it? Okay. Yes. So you have other things going on. What, what time. time does the library close and somebody wants to Monday, normally? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, we're from 9 to 5. Tuesdays and okay. Thursdays, we're open from 9 to 7. Okay, okay. that's so, that's what yes. that's it. You've got plenty of time. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. So we have some really nice programs. Well, sorry, Tina, As we're Tina out of time. <laughs> no, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> we Tell us about, yeah. about yeah. the genealogy. This will be my second um, time to teach genealogy classes here at the library. I did back in October, mm -hmm. and we had so many to enroll that we had to turn a few people away. Wow. So I was very pleased with that. That's good. Um, so I decided we'll just have another one in the spring. And this will be a little bit different. I can be able to enroll a few more people, but we will have to have a deadline for enrollment, which will be April the 7th. Mm -hmm. um, my classes will be, I'll have one class on Saturday, April the 12th, from 1 to 3 p.m., and then I'll have another class um, on Monday, April 14th from 10 a.m. to noon. Mm -hmm. And um, you can choose a day which is more convenient for you. If a Saturday is, that would be great. Uh, maybe people that are retired or those that could be off on Monday, they can come in on Monday. And, um, of course, the class is free. Mm -hmm. oh, and good. it's yeah. um, Beginning Genealogy. So is the so title of it. Would you, if you came on a Saturday, would that be the only class you would take? That's the only one. That's, okay. You had just one yep, class? Just okay. one class. Okay. And same way with Monday. And I'm going to do the same as I did in October. We're going to have a free drawing for Family Tree Maker for all those that uh, came and participated, which um, that was a good turnout. Mm -hmm. People were pleased with that. And I had lots of fun. I think our um, students had fun the last time. Mm -hmm. How so many, how big... Of the class, I mean, how many are you limited to? I'm going to be limited to 20 because okay. I'm going to be using PowerPoint. And I want everyone oh, to be yeah. able to get up close to the screen. Right. And um, so it's going to be done a little bit different than I did in October. But I'm going to try to have another one in the fall. So I'm going to try to have two a year. Good. So if you Why can't get into fall? this one, hopefully you can in the fall. And, and for the, those people out there, you have a genealogy department inside. Mm -hmm. It's upstairs. Uh -huh. in, I'm on the second the floor. And is it open same hours as, as the library? Is it different? It is. Um, I work part time, but um, the department's all open whether I'm there or not. And I have, um, you can leave notes on my desk if I'm okay. not there. You, okay. I have a business card, contact me by email. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, I'm easily accessible for, to help people with their okay. genealogy. Again, give us the yeah. date. Okay, um, you need to enroll by April the 7th. Um, the first class will be Saturday, April the 12th from 1 into 3, and then Monday the 14th from 10 a.m. into noon. So you just pick a day that is more convenient for you, and we'll get you on the list. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, now, thank any you. summer programs coming up that we need we, to? We definitely have our summer reading program again for this year. And uh, Ginger Milan is also going to yeah, do I think the. She's coming in a couple weeks yes. to tell us about that. Yes, yeah. she'll be doing yeah. the adult again this year. Oh, just it steal was... her thunder and we won't have her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> she would be very upset if she yeah. can't visit with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but well, yes. A lot of things going on. Always. You can, you can sign up for the email blast. Yes. Uh, just by going to what web to what email address or web. Or just do it on the website. You could you? do right. it on the website at boonecountylibrary.org. And, um, or you can call 870-741-5913 mm -hmm. or stop by. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, ladies, for being Thank here. You. Appreciate all the great information, and we encourage everyone out there to check out the Boone County Library. There's a lot of things going on, and I'm Very sure much. you'll find something that suits you perfectly, whether it's genealogy or kids' programs or adult programs or, or if you want to dress up like a cowgirl, <laughs> you Go can do that it. too. <laughs> Go for it, yeah. Every day if you want to. Just saying <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we'll take another break, and when we come back, we'll be talking with April and Alan Plumley about Arkansas People First. Stay with us. <laughs> 